Hey you guys, I'm back with another video. I've been gone, but I'm back. Um, this is the making a beloved famous seafood sauce. It is my very first seafood boil, and I'm going to bring you guys along so you can see like what I went through and how it came out. I hope you guys enjoy. Give this a thumbs up, subscribe, and make sure you comment down below. <laughs> Well, first I started off with some corn. I had some shrimp. It was raw shrimp I got from the store. Um, also, I got some crab legs. It was the Duchess crab legs. Well, Dungeness crab legs, my bad. Um, it came with like one pound in each bag. So I got two of them just to be safe. It did not come with the butter, by the way. Um, I also got the lobster tails. It came with two in there, and it also came with some butter, which was pretty cool. I'm like, okay, that's pretty cool if I ain't had none. Thanks. Um, I also got some four potatoes. Um, I already showed you the corn. Um, I also got the Washire sauce, Washinshire sauce, um, some minced garlic, and some garlic cloves. That was hell. All right, at this point, it's like, where the hell do you start, okay? It's like, do you start with the potatoes, the crab legs, the sh I guess the shrimp. Let's go. All right, so what I'm going to do is pretty much just peel open the shrimp and put it in some cold water. The shrimp came with about 30 to 40 pieces. It still had the shell on it, so you had to peel it, but it, it didn't really make a difference at all. I just put it in some cold water and let it sit there. I just kept pouring more cold water on it just to make sure that it stayed cold. Next came the crab legs. It was actually not a lot in the bag. It was about like one pound, but they were pretty big crab legs. So I still had to get another bag just to be on the safe side. Okay, now for the seasonings. I have brown sugar, um, some oven bags. I got two just to be safe. Some lemon juice, some minced onions, some Old Bay. Definitely need that. Some chicken cubes, um, some crab boil, like oil. Uh, I also got the bag that you can put in the pot as well two of those just to be safe you never know uh some garlic cloves the hell that they brought me some minced garlic just to use some of the juice that's inside of there um the Wishire sauce i bet everybody says that wrong the ground pepper and the paprika um some corn you see the potatoes da -da -da -da. uh i also have some curry you don't need that the creole sauce I don't know if you need to season. I said sauce, but it's seasoning. Um, but I just got it anyways. Um, some oregano, onion powder, the minced onions. I'm going to use them both just to give them more flavor. Um, I thought I was getting something else, but it was basil. Anyways, Cajun seasoning. We have Italian seasoning. Um, what else we have here? Um... Lemon pepper, I got the salt free because you don't want too much salt. Um, the ground ginger, I couldn't find the fresh ginger, but I'm sure it'll work the same. Um, let's see. And butter, you cannot forget that. That's not really butter, but whatever. I got some more butter in a tub. I'm going to use as well. Okay, this was hell. Oh my god, I hated peeling these. Like, I found a new way to do it. I had started peeling them and then like twisting them and like I tried so many things to just get this stuff off. Oh my god, it was just so hard. Like I did not know peeling garlic was like peeling a freaking onion. Like that smell hit you and it was like, yeah, it smells good, but jeez, it's so strong and potent. It's like an onion, it hits you. And you see this? You see this little stuff right here? It's like little shell that it's hard to get off oh my god it's just so irritating all right now let me clean off my space so i can work actually here we go much better now let me tell y'all about these clothes man 
it was so freaking hard to work with and it was like having to peel each and every one of them and it's like i had got a little method like i started twisting them and then it was like making it way easier for the little pieces to come on you see i was just twisting and twisting like from side to side and it was just like peeling off i was like why can i figure this out from the beginning but it was just so many little pieces just like you kept going and going and going it was only freaking three clothes you guys but it took me forever and let me tell you if you ain't got no blender you need to invest in one now if you planning on making this because trust me you gonna wish to hell you had one after that finally i'm done i'm cleaning up my space throw this crap away and I, well you know i already started chopping them <laughs> now i got my corn and my freaking i couldn't fit all the corn in there so i had to just put some more on the side then i had to work on my potatoes but first i gotta clean the sink out so all right now i'm going to start peeling the pit to these potatoes um like right here these little pieces you can see it's like dark so i'm just gonna be going around and cutting all those out now that i have cut all of the little pits out i'm going to put them in water to start boiling now i can start on these shrimp these shrimp it has like poop in them so i'm going to devein them and take that part out just to make sure that it has some nice clean shrimp and i won't be eating that Now that my shrimp is all deveined, I put my corn in another pot because they would not fit all in one pot. So I had to put my potatoes over here and you can see one little piece of corn, whatever. Um, now what do I do? Hmm. Uh, let's see. Well, at this point, I guess there's nothing really to do but wait for your corn and your potatoes to boil and just sit back and chill. I mean, I could cut up the rest of this garlic, but oh, hell no. I'm just stir the corn just to make sure that it gets all in the juices and cooked all around. Since I have nothing else to do, I guess I can start back by chopping this stupid garlic back up. Huh. This takes forever. Just let me tell you. Get a blender, get a blender, invest. Now all I did here was pretty much just take a piece of wax paper and lay it down on the counter. And I used that as like my chopping board so it wouldn't keep sliding and moving everywhere. And it made it way easier to do. Now, like I said, this was only three cloves. I cannot imagine chopping up five of them. I used some minced garlic that I bought from the store that was already pre-chopped as well. But I didn't use too much of that. Um, this garlic was pretty much just enough. And I didn't even use all the cloves. So, well, I had like three little cloves left. <laughs> I could have chopped them up, but I was so done at this point. Now it's time to start putting in the seasonings. Um, so we got one teaspoon of lemon pepper that I'm gonna put in here. Now every seasoning that I'm gonna put in here is gonna be one teaspoon. I'll tell you if it is different. And I got Mish's Dash, and I got the salt-free kind because you already have enough salt, you don't need more. Next is I'm gonna put the onion powder in there doesn't matter what brand, it's just some onion powder. Next, I got the organic Cajun seasoning. It doesn't matter if it's organic or not. It's just the one I chose. I mean, I picked up. I didn't see any other ones at the store. 
Next, we have oregano leaves. And of course, there's just one teaspoon of that one as well. Next, I'm gonna have some paprika. Doesn't matter which brand, it's the one I found. Next is gonna be the garlic powder. Up next is brown sugar. I put an uneven scoop, but it's up to your liking. Okay, I'm done with the bone. <laughs> it was too much. Up next is chicken cubes. Um, I This is the only brand I found, but I put two inside of some hot water, and I let it sit, and I just added it to my mix. Oh, yeah, one more thing. I almost forgot my old bag. That is the most important ingredient in this whole recipe. Now, the Old Bay requires one tablespoon. And I put a little extra because I like to taste the Old Bay. Um, it's to your liking. You don't have to. But I put just a little bit extra in there just for the flavor. Next is Italian seasoning. One teaspoon of that. Then a teaspoon of ground ginger. Then I had one package of Goya left, so I just go on ahead and added that to there because I love the taste of Goya. Oh my God, if you haven't found out about the seasoning, find it, it's at your local Mexican store and use it. It is so good for any food that you have. It's so flavorful, especially for your tacos. Then I use some minced onions in there um, there were dry minced onions just because I seen her using some real onions and I don't really like onions too much so I just used the dry ones. I already had my butter already sitting on the stove melting down. Now I'm going to add in my garlic to let that simmer in there for a little bit. Now next I'm going to add in the one tablespoon of Tabasco sauce and one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Beloved's had the ginger in the tube, but I just used the powdered, so I didn't add that. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. I also added the chicken broth in there as well, and I'm sorry I didn't record myself. I was moving a little too fast, but I also added all the ingredients inside of the butter, and I just mixed it in there, and I just let it set on the stove, and I just kept mixing and mixing, just making sure it didn't stick to the bottom of the pan, and uh, just let me let you know, it does stick to the edges. So you are going to have to start, you know, kind of pushing around the edges to make sure it's not sticking there. But I kind of just let that sit for a while and just broil for a little bit. Um, I got my potatoes over here and I got my corn back there and my boiled eggs. And that's going to go in there as well. So I'm going to get the bag started, I guess. Let's go. You know what? I lied. I completely forgot about my crab legs. Oh my God. I have to put the Old Bay inside of the crab legs. So I'm going to drain all the water out of my crab legs and then I'm going to push the Old Bay and butter inside of the crab legs. But you know what? I have a better idea. I'm going to use some of this seasoning over here that I just made, some of Beloved sauce, and I'm going to use some Obey. I'm going to sprinkle the Obey on there. Then I'm going to use some of this sauce, and I'm going to sprinkle that inside of the crab legs as well. Hmm, let's go. Okay, now I just got that all finished. I have my crab legs with the sauce inside with the old bay, as you can see. And I'm just going to get my bag prepared and I'm just going to throw everything inside of my bag. Now I have my bags here and I'm just going to open them up and set them on the counter so I can put all the ingredients inside.
The first thing I started off doing was putting corn in the bag. It really doesn't matter if you start with the corn, the potatoes, the eggs, as long as it all goes in one bag. Now at this moment, I just added some Obey and just a little bit of Beloved Seafood Seasoning inside of the bag just to give it a little flavor. Um, but do what you want. You don't have to add Beloved Sauce. You can just add some butter and then the rest of the seasonings. But I figured that this might give it a little extra flavor. Now at this point you don't want to let out all the air in the bag but you want to just have just enough in there. At this point you want to make sure that you put it inside of a pan just in case it pops, God forbid, but you got to cover it if it does and it does not spill all in your oven. Alright, off to the oven it goes. Now this is going to be your lovely finished product. Oh yeah, and another thing, just make sure you step back when you open that bag because that steam will hit you and it burns. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed my first seafood broil. Make sure you like, subscribe, and turn that post notification bell on. Enjoy. <laughs>